ABNC, America's Black News Channel. Watch us on all major cable providers and major streaming platforms. Finally, news that speaks to us. Hey, the number of black and Hispanic women who died during pregnancy in the first weeks after childbirth spiked during the first year of the pandemic. That's according to the National Center for Health Statistics. Kimberly Seals Allers had a negative experience after having a baby, and she stepped up to advocate for black maternal health. She created the Earth app, as in birth, but she removed the B for bias. It's the first of its kind review and rating app and community for black birthing people to search and leave reviews, OBGYNs, birthing hospitals, and pediatricians so desire. Kimberly joins us now from New York City. Welcome back, um, and thank you for starting your day with us. The numbers, they continue to be staggering, particularly as we've noted at the beginning of the pandemic, during the pandemic. Um, but let's talk about you first. What happened during your childbirth experience that, that made you say, nope, I, I've got to do more here. I've got to do something for others when it comes to equity and maternal health. Mm -hmm. First of all, thank you so much for having me, Sharon. You know, when I think about my experience and gratefully and, and prayerfully I'm here to share it, um, it's nothing like what we know is happening to so many Black birthing people across the country. I mean, I when I was experiment when I was pregnant, I decided to do all the research. I checked all the media lists. I read all the parenting posts, really trying to do my due diligence around where I could have a great, respectful, empowering birth experience. And I went to a hospital that was very highly rated in my city. Um, but ended up feeling incredibly disrespected, traumatized. Um, you know, I had a C-section. I still can't explain. I fought to have my baby in my room with me, even though I was told this was the standard of care. I said I was breastfeeding, and they repeatedly gave my baby formula against my wishes. It was just one um, insult after another. Everything that I asked for and expected that I had read was the standard of care I had to fight for. And it was deeply troubling because, you know, I blame myself because I thought I did my research. Mm. But the reality was at that time in my life, I was in graduate school at Columbia and um, was not wow. yet married. And so I realized that I was on student insurance um, and I was treated like an unwed black woman with bas basic insurance. Mm -hmm. And that feeling of learning that people are being treated differently, even at the same place, really shocked me. I was not prepared for that. Um, but now we know when we look at these disparities, when we look at the new data coming out of that report, that black women are disproportionately suffering under this system. And like I said, thankfully, I'm here to talk about it. But we know that far too many are not. And this has to stop. Yeah, reviews are one thing too, because as you said, you did your homework, um, as you were leading up the run up to giving birth. Reviews by and for black people is something else. And I want to know Correct. if, if, and I don't know if there's anything that you can do except note where people are going to be treated, uh, mistreated. What can be done if you are experiencing this? Who do you call? Who do you go to? Or, or is the Earth app just saying avoid these, these places? Well, the Earth app is certainly not saying avoid these places. The Earth app exists because we have used these uh, surveys. We've used all the, the devices available to us. But quite frankly, the hospital industry has had a monopoly on this type of information. You may complete a hospital survey. Mm -hmm. You may tell the hospital that you had a negative experience. But what happens to that information? Are they sharing it publicly? Is that being shared with others? Do you ever find out mm. whether anything's been done? Done regarding your case? No. And, you know, certainly after childbirth, it is not the time where people have the emotional or physical capacity to try to legally fight yeah. a deep pocketed health system. And so we've seen this time and time again. And so we say, yes, you should definitely take advantage of all of those mechanisms, but you should also use the Earth app to inform and protect your community and for us to drive accountability, drive transparency. Yeah. Sharon, these folks have been doing these anti-bias trainings for years and they're not working right and so mm -hmm. how do we yeah. as a community say we're going to hold you accountable 
to how you treat us by keeping our by making our experiences public, sharing them, creating transparency in an industry that has been allowed to store this information in deep databases that we can't even access. And that's what really Earth is about, democratizing access to the reviews of other people like us so that we can see where we are receiving good care and where we are not. And it's, it's like what you're saying is don't ask them, but, but demand that they be held accountable. Because I can't tell you, every time I go to a doctor, I get that, that follow-up survey from the hospital. They want these reviews to post and get that money and get more business. Um, you hosted recently an initiative yeah. during Black History Month called Race for Safer Black Birth to encourage people in cities with some of the highest black maternal and infant mortality rates to post reviews. And so how is Earth Data, um, the app, used to help make black births safer? Yeah, you know, this is the whole mission. We have a dual market purpose. On the front end, we certainly give our community a tool to publicly see where others like them are experiencing care. But our greatest work is what we do on the back end, where we turn those qualitative reviews into quantitative data to work directly with hospitals, payers, and providers to compel them to improve their mm -hmm. care. Because right now, they have very little information based on what matters to us in terms of how they can improve. And so we work with hospitals. We have a, a hospital pilot in Detroit. We're about to bring some on in New York City, Philadelphia, and LA, hmm. so that they could learn from our lived experience. You know, Sharon, too many of these hospitals, they have what they call, our states have maternal mortality review boards, where after there's a death, they go in and they analyze what happened. And we say, we don't have to wait until we die to learn about no. and analyze our care. Let's learn from the living. Right. And so Earth has this unique database of lived experience data of people who are still alive to share and inform each other. And we want folks to learn from that and not use our death as the only trigger for analysis. And so this is the work that we do on the back end, really compelling hospitals to learn from the living, to listen to what black people are saying matters to them in their pregnancy and childbirth care and their infant care, because we also accept pediatric Reviews, um, and so and to make that part of how they improve the hospital system, That's not so using some yeah. national data, but using our hyperlocal yeah. experiences. You're doing extraordinary work, and it strikes me from graduate student to the work you're doing now. This is something that it's across the spectrum with too many black women, and you're right. Uh, much more needs to be done. I'm thinking of the famed TV judge, Judge Glenda Hatchett, and what she went through uh, as a grandmother. Um, so we've got to do more. Your work is just incredible. Kim, we appreciate you um, supporting equity in maternal health.